before I start talking? Yes, right it is. This That's what okay. that stupid motion with my gotcha. hand was. Gotcha. Check. <laughs> hey, uh, we get to start over again because Kip's stupid. I'm stupid. All right, it's Al. Yeah, I messed, <laughs> I messed up the mic situation. So right we got a special episode. It's our first road episode, and uh, we're in Chicago, ish, ish Oakland. Yeah, yeah, it's Oakland, close, right? Yeah. That's right. It's close. Interviewing we're, the man behind the brand, Top Mount Apparel. I still think you should call him Top Mount. His, that's his, that's his new yeah, name to you. I is agree. Top, top Mount. Mount. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're Top Mount. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That sounds good. That's all right. Cool. Sorry. Sweet. I picked a good logo. So. What's going on? Yeah, you're he. He's in fucking love with your, your logo. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate like, the did, love. Did you design it yourself? Uh yeah, I actually no still shit. have the uh, the sketch pad at home. Nice. Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's pretty fucking sweet. I am yeah. way too dumb and untalented to do anything like that. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Walk into that. Yeah, you really did. Uh, yeah, I can't draw shit. <laughs> you give me a piece of paper. I'm you guys don't want to see. You guys don't want to see the sketch pad. <laughs> oh yes, yes we do. do. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> Sounds like something I can make fun of you for. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we need something. So, and we're also here for our girl Morgan's first pro fight. Yeah, pro fight. Yeah, is awesome. it a super fight or a pro? It's fight? It's called a super fight. Nice. So, is it the same thing? I, I don't know. I, I, I was just gonna say I don't know. Yeah. L. Oh uh, well, it's. I know it's one match at a time. It's a yes. pro fight, as they call it. It's uh, it's it's a pretty cool event, man. I mean, grappling games seems yeah. to do it really, really well. Yeah, they do. They run a pretty good uh. Uh, a pretty good show. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and you have a compadre going on today. Yeah, already Gruba, man. He's uh, he's gonna throw down today. What level? He has a purple belt. Nice. Yeah. Like I keep wanting to go. What color are people? Then I realize <laughs> <laughs> that shit's racist. Hey, what color is he? <laughs> it is, man. So uh, what color is he? <laughs> oh, that doesn't fit when I'm outside the gym, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Jamal is probably flipping me off right now. Uh, well, we what can a do. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Go swim somewhere and shut up. Nice. He loves swimming. Just want to say that. All right. Nobody Jamal. cares. Nobody cares. No, no, they don't. But I say a lot of things people don't care about. So, Al. Yes. How long have you been training, sir? Uh, three year, over three years now. Nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah. Dang. So you're this deep into making your own company within yeah. three years. Yeah. Pretty much. I like it. Yeah. So you're one of those guys that went. Yep. This is going to be my life. Like day one. No, not necessarily, <laughs> man. I, no? Oddly enough, man. I I went to train. I was training for months before I decided exactly what I wanted to do. No, like, no shit. Yeah. It was. It, I think about it, it's weird. Um, I started. I I loved it. Obviously, like well, for the most part, everybody does. Um, and then. Uh, I just like I didn't have no direction. It was it's weird. It was very weird. Like I didn't I had no idea what I wanted to do. You and just knew you liked it. Yeah, that was as far as it went. That was it. That was it. And then I read somewhere <laughs> that it takes what over at least over ten years to get your black belt or something like that. Yes. I'm like yeah, yes. an average. Yeah. And then I was like, really? I'm like, I think I want to do this. Then. Nice. <laughs> you know, in my head, I'm like, yeah, it's more of a challenge. Correct. It's like, okay, cool. Correct. This can be my life. Correct. So I, I'm not wrong to be obsessed. Hey, man, I was right. a black belt when I was 11. Yeah. It took me three years. What, in fucking dance class? Because <laughs> it ain't jujitsu. Hey, I was legit for an 11-year-old. Yeah, it's cool that an 11-year-old has a black belt. That, that was cool. In any. <laughs> I still got beat up, but, you know, neither here nor there. You got balls bounced off your face. <laughs> oh, man. I did. I did. I will fun. never get past that story. Because <laughs> all I picture is your fucking, like, adult head being smashed in. I don't know why. It's just uh, your normal face now. Smash into a wall. I would fight back now. You wouldn't would. do any good. And I suck at this stuff. Uh, dude, you won a pro cage fight. I did. Nice. With pros really a stretch won, on that one. I won. <laughs> no, I, Backyard. Dude, I, it, it was kind of. It was. It was the Ionia County Free Fair. Nice. Yeah. yeah whenever you have free in County Fair. Yeah. I legit. did. I did break his hand okay. on my face. That's how nice. it was. Fight, yeah. You'll have to see that fight. We'll have, have it. To. We'll send it to you. Okay. It's um. It's on VHS. All right. Because he's still old as shit. I still got one, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, uh, so what belt are you now? Uh, Three-stripe blue belt. Nice. Yes. Nice. He's really faster than us at this. Yeah. Because I, I think I'm on pace for one-stripe blue belt when I'm like 74. Yeah, I took my first yeah, class 74. in 2006. I just got my fourth stripe. Nice. Um, yeah, that's belt. right. Yeah. And your belt keeps rejecting your stripes. <laughs> <laughs> it does yeah. too. It's a disease. Those strips. Yeah, I just lost one of mine during rolling. So yeah, we're see? on we're on the same pace, man. <laughs> oh, see, yours are all cool. You guys lose them during rolling. Yeah. My daughter stole mine. She's like, "Fuck it's you, trophies, you suck. man." <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm out. I'm like, oh, well, that's well, valid. It's valid. <laughs> Did, yeah. Now, did somebody get you into it, or you just decided to try it and actually down a local gym? No, actually, um, my son, uh, he, I wanted to get him into. Uh, into you know self defense. Oh yeah, and I I saw you know grappling and I was like I got to get him in this. And then I 
Google for the most part where where you where we we live now in Joliet. We found the Hill Brothers, which is where yep. I train still, and um, he did it for I think three years as well, and he did good, man. And then he just kind of like um, he got a little burnt out. How old? Uh, he is fifteen now, man. Okay, uh, he was. Nine back then. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So he started. He started small. Well, that, a lot of shit changes yeah. at that age. So that's a tough so, one to get him through. Yeah. So he was. He was. He was pretty good, man. He, being a smaller kid, he had to develop a lot of good technique, which is perfect. Yeah. And uh, he was. He's, he did pretty good. He got his. He was very quiet. Very very. Uh, Self confidence wasn't all that high. Okay. And once I got him in there, man, he just. He was still quiet, but he knew how to handle handle himself. So, There's a difference yeah. between reserved and. Shy, correct. And he went from shy to reserved. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you it sounds, it right yeah. yes. which is good. Yes. That's that's what you want because you don't want a loud yeah. mouth asshole. Yeah, trust you me. You did it. Trust me. I I am one. <laughs> it doesn't end well. <laughs> everybody, everybody knows. <laughs> did you sign up with him or did you get? No, a, actually, okay. I I made sure that it was all about him. I got like, you. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's a good way to do when it. When it came to training, I made sure he enjoyed it, and then he wanted to push himself. He competed. It didn't go well for him, and then he kind of bounced back, and he started choking people left and right. Nice. So nice. It was one of those, like, you have to fail before you win sort of type of deal. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And it was pretty good, man. He, he he developed good self-confidence, and then he decided to kind of um, take a break. And once he decided to take a break, I was like, well, if you're going to take a break, I'm going to step in now because I like Well, now it's, yeah. 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 now it's your turn. <laughs> it's yeah, my turn now. Yeah. Because I, I wanted to make sure I didn't do one of those, like, live vicariously through him or whatnot. I was like, it's about you. It's way easier. You, know? you don't get hurt that way. <laughs> That's, right? I'm yeah. kind of right? doing that myself. Yeah. <laughs> my daughters are doing shit that I have no business trying. So. Hell no. <laughs> but, yeah. You can hurt you. Wow. It's <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's pretty much how I got into it, man. And here we are now, I guess. Nice, nice. Yeah. So when you uh, when you went to that first class, were you surprised, or did you kind of understand what was coming to you when you uh, were watching your kid all those years? Um. Well, yeah. Well, the first class I went to, I was, I, I still remember it clear as day. I, it was a smaller class for some reason. There wasn't that many students that day, and. Uh, I I <laughs> I got ragdolled by my pr- professor James Hill. Nice. Uh, he just ragdolled. Well me, played, man. sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just ragdolled me, and he, he he was just kind of like smiling the whole time because he knew he knew that I knew that I had no idea what the hell I was doing, and I just I I, I loved I love the fact that it exposed so many weaknesses that it, I had no idea that I was. doing. It's amazing. It, it was I was so. Uh, gassed out, and he was just kind of like smiling. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, you know? yeah it's, and yeah. I was like, yeah, th- this that's not normal. No right. matter no matter what how how you flip it or reverse it, that's just not normal. Uh, no. It's funny so, realizing that physical discrepancy yeah. the, or the disparity really. Yes. between somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing, right. and just coming in off the street, going, Jesus, Correct. I thought I could fight. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and, like, yeah, and yeah, I was a badass, but then I came here. Correct. That's exactly <laughs> what jujitsu is. Yeah. I was I could kick yeah. everyone's ass until yeah. I came here. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's can't. funny. It gives you a whole new uh, perspective when somebody's talking shit. You're like, dude, you have no idea correct. what people are capable correct. of. Correct. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Yeah, we were uh, we had a guy with a road rage problem on the way here. Okay. Everyone wants to see him to race the grappling dad's mobile for some odd reason. <laughs> and it was like somebody just passed me in a Mini Cooper. Oh hell yeah. no! Seriously, they just kept <laughs> flying back past. I'm like, oh, I was wow. going 95. Why are you going 100? Well. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't racing. I'm just a gre- I'm just impatient as fuck. <laughs> you just want to get here. <laughs> and that dude just in his little aviator glasses drove by. Oh, I'm just like, man. Like, I Staring want to choke down. the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because if you look at us, we're, we're dorks. I mean, we're, oh, yeah. we're, we're old man, gray hair. <laughs> we're old dorks. Man. And you look at us, you're like, oh, I can for sure kick their ass. I'm like, it, you're going to be surprised. That's, that's, that's a scary part, man. Like, it is. Yeah. Because now all those prejudgments I love to make. Probably pretty far off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. now there's probably a lot of people who are doing this a lot longer than me while I wasn't doing it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's yes, becoming sir. popular. Yeah, yeah, it really yeah. is. And so are we. It's a I just had to throw Jesus. that in there. I just fucking had to throw God. it. God. So, how, hey, I don't hate us. You hate us. So, so when did you start <laughs> the? I, you're right. <laughs> when did you start the uh, the top mountain apparel? Uh, we've been in it for a year now, man. Um, You've been going a year. Already? Yeah, a year. Wow. Yeah. Um, it, it was a very slow process, man. It was a lot of, uh, well, it's still a slow process and very stressful process. <laughs> yes, it uh, is. It's a company. I yeah. did it for 11 years. It's fun, See, right? They, oh, it's extremely fun. I, re- I recommend everybody do one. Um, he's lying. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know. He's fucking lying. <laughs> yes, I am very much lying. 
uh yeah it's, we've been in it for a year um pretty much just it was it was one of those things where um i just wanted to to i don't know how to say this but just kind of uh relay what we live and what we go through every day on the mats and whatnot yeah. into yeah. you know whether it's art form or printing or whatever the case right. is right yeah and just you know it, it's it's more it's more of a of a just a company or a brand it's you know you, like you guys you guys wear the shirts and whatnot it's sometimes people see it and it's like what's that all about and yeah like, oh, oh yeah. it's it's jujitsu i do jujitsu and then they you know you never know it might spark up a conversation you know people might like yeah I, I, i've heard about that what is that all about and mm-hmm. you know it's just it's just another way or form to express yourself i guess if you will um but it's it hasn't it hasn't been easy that's for sure man like uh, a lot of stuff that we've gone through through jujitsu has transferred over through the business side i mean mm-hmm. like you doing you doing business for 11 years you would know i mean it's yeah it's it takes a lot of out of your comfort zone <laughs> it's it is not a comfort zone no. yeah. if you had one fuck yeah. that thing that thing's gone yeah. it's kind of cool taking your passion something yes. that you love so much and then making a business out of it Absolutely. and then getting to show that off correct. and that's what that's what we do here yes <gasps> yeah correct exactly oh my God. we did it mostly because so we, we do the same everyone thing, bro. Same totally thing. same thing <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, uh, we started it mostly because we were annoying people with all the conversations nice. we were having yeah. about jujitsu. So a little different. <laughs> yeah, I go yeah. to work and people are like, and he's going to talk about jujitsu in three, two. two. <laughs> oh look, his mouth is moving. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about jujitsu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, but I think it's cool because yours is a proponent to make everything better. Ours, on the other hand, probably pisses people off. Yeah, we're dragging. The whole uh, we're dragging down. it yeah. down. We're much <laughs> the anchor of jujitsu yeah. and not in a good way. <laughs> no, your your guys' uh your guys' podcast has a lot of great valid points and it's hilarious, man. I I try to tell people to listen to it, but they're like, that. what podcast? Well, yeah, pod- it's, 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 it's tough because a lot of no people idea. don't know what podcasts No, they're are. like, podcast? What is that? It's like, oh, oh people don't know. No, they don't know. It's man. fucking yeah. great. <laughs> yes. do, you, do you find it entertaining that you have the world's knowledge in your pocket? Correct. And then you're listening to, like, the radio. Correct. Like, you're yeah. being a chump, yeah. man. Yeah. You, you can learn about anything you want in the world, Absolutely. anything. Or you can, or you yeah. can hear from any voice you want to yeah. hear from. Instead... You're like, oh, let's do that new Katy Perry song is the shit. <laughs> right? I heard about it, heard it yesterday and the day Correct. before and the day yeah. before you got your playlist. I'm like, I'm just going to listen to the same right. shit over and over again Correct. rather than yeah. learn something. It's but like, whatever. It's a fast growing medium, though. I do. I do. Yeah. I think it, uh, yeah, it's uh, it is. It's huge. Getting well, huger. It's well, a word. Fuck you. Huger. <laughs> you just make up your Getting own fucking words anyways. Huger. Everyone knows that shit. Yeah, whatever. So, did you, you do, you have a hand, you're a, what is that? You're the distributor for oh, proud, proud BJJ right? Rainbow, yes that's a brainchild of mine as well yeah yeah because yeah. that started first correct correct yes yeah, yeah. so yeah. tell me wh- to tell everybody what's about we tell everyone because we well but you probably do it a lot better because we're like oh, it's fucking cool go check it out <laughs> <laughs> you're probably listening to this you're like that's not quite it guys yeah, yeah. So, yeah what yeah, an w- idiot when you guys call it the I, I switch it. I switch it up all the fucking time. BJJ, and I'm like, what? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. I think I yeah, got it, me. though, right? It's hilarious. Well, sometimes no, no, you no. guys flip flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you yeah. fuck it up, too. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, I've now put it on my computer screen when we're doing <laughs> it. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's it. I got it. <laughs> Don't hate us because we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you should. But, but Well, yeah, the the proud BJJ white belt. It was, uh, it was based on um, pretty much the whole premise of everybody saying, I'm just a white belt. Like you guys have even had an episode yeah. about that. Which, That's my favorite episode, which I which I fell in love with pretty much. Um, the, this was oh man, a year and a half ago maybe I think it was. It was okay. in, it, I remember it was in November. I finally got the guts to actually like launch the actual Instagram name, and then just started putting little snippets up, and you know, hopefully, hoping that I can help people. You know, motivate people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For and sure. Then, and then I started seeing. You know. Um, there was no other white belt pages that can help you in different in different in, in different instances, if you will. Like uh, whether you just got tapped out by uh, um, somebody lower ranking than you, or you just got uh, exhausted because you couldn't figure out how to throw somebody properly or sweep yep. somebody. Mm-hmm. So in my head, I went through all of that. I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. you did. Oh no, I was good right off the yeah. bat. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Keep was like, you, look, you, you look like you were. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> so. 
me as a white, but I, I would always like look for different articles, different websites, and none of them were were pointing me anywhere. I had to find it myself. So I figure I'm like, well, let me see if I can start this page. Hopefully, it can get people looking here and finding motivation, finding little snippets, and then I would continue to share even wisdom from professors. Pretty much the way you guys do it with uh, Croyler's Corner, yeah. I, I do it with um, whoever I can find. Yeah, whether it's you know, <laughs> yeah. he's take it, you know, Tom Blas, Eddie Bravo, Chris Howder, whatever, and just share it and help tr- try to help whoever I can. Yeah, I've been and, saying for years, yeah. adopt a white belt, and you took that shit to a whole new level. Correct. I love yeah. it, which it's, is hard to beat. Yeah. Hard to beat, Paulie. <laughs> adopt a white belt, dude. Well, dude, nobody gives a shit. You about piss white yourself belt, when right? a new friggin' person walks in. Yeah. I do. It's fine. You do. Well, you know, the thing is, is I, I, I walked in the first gym, right? Yeah. And I always heard it's a family. Correct. You know, this is, this is a, Correct. it's a tribe. And I walked in and I'm in there for weeks and people aren't even looking at me. Right. They ain't giving me yes. the time of day. Stop they don't, being a they douche don't bag give up. Yes. Well, <laughs> I, okay. There's that. They did it to others too. It wasn't just me. So it's, okay, cool. it's legit. It's legit. So yeah, I mean, you just kind of get neglected until Correct. you're there for, you know, you gotta be a there year, right. you know, year and a half, or or you're good at competitions, or you're right. a beast. Then they'll pay attention in a right. lot of schools. I go with loud yeah. and annoying. I mean, it to, works for I you. Got pretty, yeah, you squeaky know, wheel right. gets the grease and all. There but yeah, go. so yeah. you know, people like you, I like that. Where you're like, no man, you're legit. You're validated. You know, the fact that yeah, you're right. in there doing it at all, absolutely, you're already a hero. You're Correct. making a difference in your own life and probably the lives of others. Yeah, and it, it, it because it's a family, it's hard as fuck to get in. Correct. It really is. You have to put your time in to get in. I didn't get that when I got started though. Because everybody says that stupid bullshit with, oh, you're doing great. And then well, they fucking walk right by you. <laughs> so, oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I saw a post uh, from uh, Professor Kyle Terra where he said, we all have our first day. It's your job to make sure it's not your teammates last or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's and, really. And we're yeah. at, the, at uh, the academy we train in right now, I make, I make it a point if I can. If I see somebody that's new and they're kind of like wandering around, kind of like looking at everybody stretch and they're just kind of like holding up the wall, yep. I'll go up and I'll introduce myself. When I do it, for the most part, everybody else like starts yeah. doing it because they feel comfortable now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just takes that one you person know, to really stretch right. out. Because, I mean, it, if, they're there, if they're there with their gi, their kimono on or whatnot, that means that they're at least taking maybe the week trial, maybe the month mm-hmm. trial. Yep, yep. You know, it's you don't want to make it harder on them, man. You know? Yeah. It's... Make them feel welcome. I mean, if, that's a legit point. If if they if they decide they're gonna be you know one of those guys that wants to freaking go one hundred percent on you while rolling or even drilling, then you know what to do the next day. You, you, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, okay. I need it's to like, learn you something. You know, Got it? Like, you know what I mean? So, but, well, you, you ever listen to uh, the Tim Ferriss podcast? I do not. Uh, so he had a lady on. I, I, I hope I'm not saying this wrong, but Gabby Reese, and okay. she's do, she's uh, advocating exactly what she's you're saying. She's a volleyball player, right? <clears throat> yep. Okay. And she said, uh, you know, he asked her, if you could put anything on a billboard, what would it be? And she says, be first. Be the first to say hi. Be the Correct. first to smile. Be the I first agree. to introduce yourself. And you're doing just that for the, uh, for the newbie white belt. Yes. So, dude, that's badass. It's yes. tough as fuck to be a white belt. Oh, man. I've gone over it many, many times, yeah. but it's yeah. tough as hell to it's be a white belt. It's not easy at all. Yeah, my wife's yeah. going through some interesting stuff, too, because uh, somebody asked her, well, when are you going to test? Because I'm testing soon. Correct. So, of course, they asked my wife, uh, when are you testing? She's like, I am not ready. Stop asking yeah. me. But it literally made her start thinking about things. She goes, "I don't know anything." Right? She does. Yeah. She knows a lot. It, it it puts you. It puts you. It humbles you. It does. Ways, you know. Yeah, yeah, and it puts you in that white belt head uh, head yeah. m- mindset that yeah. you're like, "Yeah, I don't know shit." And you judge yourself compared, you know, compared to every other teammate. Correct. Yeah. And when you're the last one that joined, you're always going to be the one that sucks the most, generally speaking. So it never feels like you're making any progress Correct. because everybody else is growing and you're like the, the low man on the totem pole. Right. And you, so to, yeah. yeah. So to encourage them people and, ex- you know, do what you're doing is like, Hey, you know, you're doing good. Oh, you absolutely. Just, you just wait six months until another new guy shows up. Then absolutely. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also you see that you're how much better you are, but that's beside the point. <laughs> man, those new people suck. <laughs> so I was fucking horrible. Or, I, I, I think mean, we all were. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> horrible. And I had a guy beating the crap out of me. So, yeah, I feel bad for white belts. I always have. And I really need to make the just a white belt t-shirt. Nice. <laughs> so everyone knows I'm proud to be a white belt. I have no of problem course. with being a white belt. I'll wear my beautiful hat that you gave me that has a white belt on it. There you go. You know, when I get my blue one, I'll throw it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, burn that. <laughs> and, and be like, fuck yeah. you, white belt. Yeah. We'll burn it for Instagram. Man, see yeah. this hat? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just going to start yeah. walking around the gym just pushing people in the face. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just going to do that. 
Let's start with Justin. So how'd the, uh, how'd the uh, brainchild of the Top Mount come around? Did, uh, what, was there like a spark? Was it a conversation? You know, um, I, I always like to know how these things come about. Believe it or not, when I first started doing jiu-jitsu and started competing and started training, I started seeing all the odd shirts. Yeah. And yeah. I, I had never seen them yeah. before. All I saw was tap-out shirts, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when I trained Fuck and trained, <laughs> you know, and when I trained and trained, I, I oddly enough, my teammates never wore any of, those shirts to uh, to the gym, so I never saw them. And yep. then I went to competition one day, and I saw different people walking around with different shirts, and I'm like, "Man, those are pretty cool." Yeah. And then in my head, it, so I don't know if it was just whatever it was in me. Like every time I would see something, I would I would flip it. Like I would just yeah, yeah. reword stuff in my head. I'm like, "Oh, I could I could totally make that into a shirt." And then I just I just left it at, at alone. And then once Proud BJJ White Belt started taking uh, taking off, and people were you know requesting stuff and i was like you know what in my head i'm like i'm gonna start doing decals for the for the page yep, yep. and i and okay. i give them and i give them away i give them away for free i i told people if you want one let me know and everybody's like oh, i'll take one i take one send them out it cost it cost some money so i was like <laughs> yeah i'm like oh man oh, wait, I, this wasn't the best plan <laughs> i was like man i don't know if i want to do that again but i was like whatever so then i waited a little bit and then once that happened everybody was like uh are you gonna are you guys gonna do any gear and i was like absolutely not <laughs> yeah. Hell no! I was like, no, not not because I guess people thought it was going to be free, but I guess they they were just like, man, I would love to have a proud BJJ white shirt, and and I was like, we don't do that, and we're not doing that because this page is not meant to uh, make money. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't your idea. That was not to, the idea to, to be a, correct a money making device for you, and and it's still not. It that's not the premise behind this page. So. Everybody, uh, I don't want to say everybody, but people kept asking and asking. I'm like, maybe down the. Then it changed from no to maybe down the line. Yep. And then I was, and then I was like, man, do I really want to pull the, the the trigger on this? Do I do I really want to go forward with this? And then I was like, ah, man, you know, let me see what I can come up with. And then, um, you know, leg locks came out in my head. You yeah. Know? And then the day of the dead shirt, the other los trujilleros came out in my head. That, yeah. that one actually came out in my head as I was driving. For some reason, it just popped in. I'm like, man, I gotta at least try good to death th- car. Same yeah. thing. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> I'm good like, Perry. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, man, I at least gotta, I at least gotta try to design something. And then I made five, uh, five designs. My first five designs. I'm like, do I still? And I still was like, do I really want to do it? Yep. And then I came up with this, uh, the TM logo, and I'm like, oh, man, I got this. And I'm like, do I really want to invest money in this? Because now it's getting, you know, now, yeah. now, now oh, it's crunch time. There's a point time. of no return. Yeah. Yeah, you know right? what I mean? You're going to yeah. do this or you're not. Exactly. So I'm like, man, uh, I guess. You know, I, I I was like, yeah, you know what? If if I don't try, I'm never going to know. The yep. word, I mean, yep. it's going to suck losing money, but we'll see how it goes. And then slowly but surely, we just took off from there. And nice, man. It's Man, it's 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 been a it's been a hassle, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I tell you what, man, being able to help people, oh man, it's priceless. Oh, yeah, isn't it though? Yeah, oh man, like, I mean, you guys, you guys gave Top Mount Apparel love before there was anything to do be, between sponsorship. Oh yeah, so for sure. When you guys did that, and you guys kept on uh, giving us uh, give us giving us love. I was like, man, these guys, these guys, these guys are cool, you know, because a lot of people will message, you know, the page. And, or they'll email the page, and then sometimes people will talk to either somebody uh, somebody who helps me run the page, or they'll get me. Usually, when it's sponsors, it's me they're yeah. talking mm-hmm. to. Um, and it's rough, man, because I I'm the type of guy that I want to help anybody and everybody who I can. But you also don't want to s- cut off your nose and spite your face. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, right. absolutely. And there's times where people just, I mean, unfortunately, people just, you know, they want to contact the page and. They want free stuff. Yeah, they just want oh, to take yeah, advantage yeah. of you. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, it, and it's, it, it, it's disheartening, man, because it's like, damn, that sucks, you know, because I, I, I want to help, but it's very hard to distinguish who I can help. Who, I who, help. Yeah, who's actually right. looking for a free T-shirt for Correct. whatever reason that would be. And or who actually wants to be part of what Correct. you're doing. Because, yeah. because when, I mean, you guys notice, well, at least you notice I talk to you more, um, yep. but when my when bad. i my bad <laughs> Paul, Polly doesn't do business <laughs> i don't get it we need a shirt that says Polly doesn't know right business. how about it right? <laughs> but when it comes to talking to sponsors i mean i'm i'm dedicated if if you're working i'm working yep if you stop working i stop working that's just I, and a lot of people just yeah i just a lot of people tend not to get that they're like hey send me this and it's like all right thank you 
And yeah. <laughs> is, is, <laughs> Have a good one. They, I mean, there's times where I get literally that, like, hey, send me this. And it's like. Well, oh, um, right. Tap Tape does the same shit. Does it? He gets far, the dumbest shit. Yeah. And they're like, you want to sponsor me? He's like, I don't know yeah. who the hell you are. Yeah, like, yeah you're who <laughs> built that one yeah. zero tournament. So I would, or I, even if they were, yeah, he well, he just he yeah. shuts off to him instantly. Like yeah, he's like, just like, why are you asking for yeah. a handout? I like, don't even know who you are. Like tap tape, he um, he. My son was actually the one who who talked to to the tap. To the guy, to I, Mike, to Mike, yes. You can say Mike. We've said Mike many times. Yes. To ta- he probably to fucking to hates no, no, no. His, name ta- his name is Tap Tape. Tap Tape, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a simpleton, so I believe that. <laughs> My son's the one who actually uh, got the sponsorship for Proud BJJ White Boat with Mike, and um, man, that guy's awesome. Like, Isn't he though? Like he was just like, "Do you guys need more? Ta- do you guys need more tape?" We're like, "No, man, we're good." And he's. He he sees or he sees what we're we're about. We're not like, hey man, send us more stuff, send us more stuff. Like when he sent us when he sent us a uh, tape, uh, with my son, he was like, oh man, sorry, we forgot to to send you guys patches. I'm like, tell him to don't worry about it, man. Yeah, you know, he feels horrible. Yeah, like, and that's how I am sometimes. Like, you know, because. Like I told you guys, I brought you, you guys some stuff, and I'm like, hey, you only get what you ask for, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I, there, there's people who I don't mind helping out because you guys show genuine love, and then there's other people who are like, yeah, hey, man, I love your gear. Awesome. What have you bought? Yeah. You love it so much. What have you bought? Oh, yeah. You and, know? We, and, and to me, it's not about sales. It's about it's about if you if you love my, my gear, if you love the gear, you'll, you'll believe in it enough to buy it. Yeah. And... That's one of the biggest things that I don't like doing. I don't like pushing my gear on people. Like if people say, "Hey, um, I like I love that shirt. Awesome. Where can I get it?" You know, TomOnApparel dot com. That's it. That's as far yeah. as it goes. I don't like message people like, "Hey, do you really want that shirt? I could send it to you. I could, uh, you, know, <laughs> I, you know, you don't want to be that annoying. You know, here, here's, here's the <laughs> PayPal address, or here's where you yeah. can make a payment. No, I don't. You know, there's there's a couple of times where I've told people like, "Hey, just so you know, we have a discount code going on right now." You don't have to use it. Well, that's it. different. You know, yeah. just it's that's up literally to you. in, especially knowing yeah. you. Sorry to cut you off, but I know where you're going. Yeah. It's you're literally trying to be helpful Correct. to that person because they said they liked it. Correct. So you, you took them at face value. And you're Correct. like, hey, this is a great yeah. way, great time to fucking go if, get it. If you don't, if you don't want to buy it, not a problem. <laughs> yep. I, I, I don't take it personal, no nothing like that. And that's just how I how I am when it comes to running the business. I I, I wear my my heart on my sleeve, as they say. That's good uh, you know, and I, tough to do. Yeah, it's it's not easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. No, it ain't easy so. to do that. But you're dedicated to do it that way. That's fucking good. Correct. Yeah, I don't have any heart. <laughs> kind of <laughs> a dick. I don't have any brain. So it works out. Yeah, you know? we're a hell of a pair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys balance each other out. <laughs> works out really well. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I remember when we, when I started talking to you, yeah. there there was no idea of sponsorship. It was just no. Mike, Mike told me about yeah. you. Mike's like, dude, you know who you yeah. need to talk to? I'm like, who? He's like, these guys at Top Mount. Just check them out. He's cool yeah. as shit. They're great people. No, it was uh, probably DJ first, I think, wasn't yeah. it? It was. Was yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. No, so no, it wasn't. No, he sure? told me about both. Oh, because okay. he had, he knew Al by this time. Okay. Yes. He had talked to your your, your son, but yes. he had talked to Al now at this point Correct. by the time he even brought it up to right. us. And we're like, oh, he's like, you should help them. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's what Mike said. It's like, you should help them. Like, nice. Okay. Because Mike always, every Thursday we hear yeah. from him, dude, orders. <laughs> like, nice. Awesome. Don't know what we did. <laughs> Pretty much thought we would hurt sales. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think but, the cool but, thing but about, <laughs> about what, what all of us do is we're not doing it for the money. Like, Correct. you didn't start this to make money. You Correct. started this because you love it and you want to make it part of your lifestyle. Correct. You know, that's why we do yeah. the podcast. And we're not out there going, you know, I, I want sponsors. I want this. Yeah. I want that. No, we're just showing people love the Oh, we're not supposed up. to do that? Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because in people reality, do. Well, hey, we turn people down now. Now yeah. I feel like a real stud. Yeah, right. Because yeah, so. in reality, I mean, people don't know this, but I approached you guys. Yes, you know. So it's it's not about you guys contacted me about. Hey, just so you know, we've given you shout outs on the podcast. No. Do you want to sponsor no. us? No, no. I, was, I, I was the one who actually approached you guys because you show me love, I'm going to show you love back. Yeah, it's, you know. And I mean, that's just I. That's just how I see it for the most part. Well, yeah, yeah and. Uh, we were we instantly once I heard about Tom on then we because we had already found Proud White Belt on okay. our own. Well, I did. I don't know about yeah. You, I'm, yeah, I'm an Instagram fool. I know I found. Yeah, it. I yeah. It, I'm guessing yeah. you actually probably found it, and then I was like, <laughs> "Hey, look I, who we dude, follow, dude!" Because <laughs> I I love what you do on yeah, that. and guess. he did, and uh, and that's what really gravitated us. You know, when you reached out, I'm like, "Yeah, this is easy, yeah. whatever." And you know, this is going to be our job. You know, it's not right now, correct? But 
that's because we're not trying to force it. We're not right. calling out to people. Yeah, I could go get a sponsor. I guarantee it. Correct. But I'd rather just find the right one. So we found with you, you're never leaving the family. Correct. So I hope not. <laughs> no. I mean, unless you stop sending me free shit. Yeah, free stuff. Right? Once, once the free shit dries <laughs> up, <laughs> we're done. He's like, hey, man, I'm a brown belt. I still have this blue belt hat. <laughs> this <is> bullshit. <laughs> Can you? Oh, yeah, she's never going to be a brown belt. Yeah. Did you just call me she? Yeah, did I say she? Yeah, you did, you did fucker. You? Yeah, well, same thing. <laughs> I would rewind the tape. <laughs> same thing. Yeah, it's accurate. Yeah. It's hurtful. Not a bigot. It's cool. <laughs> Not it's cool. a bigot. No, Will you yeah, please yeah. never use that word again? It, is that a bad word? Yeah, it sounds that, so that bad. Goes, yeah. <laughs> that sounds cool. so bad. I would add, uh, Why do you keep going down the wrong I road? Know. I can't help it. It's Because <laughs> it bugs <laughs> you. It does bug the shit out of me. <laughs> I got I got done. called both of those things. Oh, did you? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. Be- before we're done with the podcast, you got to you got to use some cliches for oh, sure. Oh, of course. If yes. you say journey, dude, I'm coming across. <laughs> he does all the fucking time. Yeah. He sends me a message he's like, "It's a good journey you're on, kid." I'm like, you "Motherfucker." <laughs> path, <laughs> maybe, right? Oh, Same fucker. path. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chat uh we have a sticker of journey. So oh, I'm nice. In our gym now. Nice. I want to kill Chad. <laughs> he wasn't a big badass <laughs> and my coach. I would kill him. You got to wait for him to get sick and then attack. It doesn't you know, matter. I tried that shit. Yeah. It doesn't wait, matter. Wait till he gets the flu or something. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he ripped his grind muscle a while ago. Oh, and he man. wanted to roll. He didn't say shit. No, either. well, he did. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm hurt. And he still but, just n- destroyed oh, me. Yeah, There's destroys nothing. everyone. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's scary. Oh. Cool cat. Scary as hell. How that's, many, a, uh, that's the scary part. Yeah. 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 How many days a week do you train? I go four days a week. Damn. Four days Damn, I'm jealous right now. Nice. We get like three. I get, I used to get three, four. Now I get like two. I get my two. hours went up well, at work. You know how it goes. Yeah. I just came from a, a seminar from my professors. Oh that, yeah, uh, Diamond nice. Web seminar. That man, that was a game changer. Yeah. What, what'd you work on? What was the it seminar? Was, on? It was called Diamond Web. It's Diamond it's Web. pretty much like uh, Spider Guard or like High Guard. If okay, you will. yeah, yeah. And um, something similar to a triangle, but you actually have both arms in. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a thing. Yeah. Okay, that sounds get, fucking awesome. I just get my guard pass whenever I no, do that. No <laughs> man, it's it's man, it was a mind blower, big nice. time, big nice. time. Yeah, I can't I can't wait to fail in the gym with it because it's going to take a lot of failure. Oh god, yeah. 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 Well, anything that's kind of yeah. that's out of the norms, you're oh, going to fuck so up. So are, are you like me? Like you're good enough for? I understand what's going on now. So I see a video, I go to a seminar, I'm like, oh, I got this. And then you go to class, you're like, where that? This go? is good. This is going to be my shit. <laughs> And you're like, this failed. It failed. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, one of the things I always tell, like, uh, I always tell myself is like, well, at least I'm failing. You yeah. Know? At least I'm failing. Uh, that, that means I'm actually trying to pull the trigger on it. I'm trying, right. to, I'm trying to do whatever I can to, to um, work, implement it into my Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to game. improve and make yeah. yourself oh, better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Expand your game. Because not, not everybody has, you know, the, the desire to work the Lahiva or X-Guard or whatever yeah. the case oh, may yeah. be. You know what I mean? And some people will fall in love with it, and well, uh, that's the beauty of this fucking you know sport. I mean? Is it's different shit oh, that you can work. Love, like, because I love working off my back, yeah. working open guard. That's constantly. where that's where that shirt came came from. Yeah. Guard life because of that. <laughs> I'm petting the shirt yeah. because of that. Yeah. I love guard. I love, love guard. guard. Yes. I love it. Love guard. Love it. Last podcast I was talking about, I had that shirt. I was on the beach. I'm just <laughs> waiting for people to notice. <laughs> fucking nobody. Yeah. I'm like, come on, yeah. look at my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody look at it. Ask about it, you fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I literally will show the, like the shoulder where your uh, emblem the is, team. where your yeah. logo is, and I'll just like put that in people's face, like, "Fucking ask, <laughs> ask about it, <laughs> fucking murder you." I love it. <laughs> nice, because it works. It's like a twofold. I get to talk about Tom out was cool as shit. Uh, you had me sold one night. We talked to you on the phone, by the way. Okay. Um, just you're you're a cool guy. You're on the same mission Appreciate we were. It. Thank you. So, and number two. Get to talk about jujitsu. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> Works man. out really well for oh, me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Just yeah. overall, I, I'm a, oh, yeah. I'm a banker. Uh, yeah. Okay. Many of my banker customers in my office. I'm like, so nice. I do jujitsu. <laughs> Why? Why are you telling me this? I'm like, Doesn't fucking matter. I'm doing a loan for two hundred thousand. I don't give a fuck. Have you heard about jujitsu? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I got people like I'm trying to lose ten pounds. Have you thought about jujitsu? That nope, is awesome. Oh, for the hundredth time, I haven't thought about <laughs> jujitsu. Nice. <laughs> nice. We. I have currently. I'm pretty proud of the amount of people that I've brought to jujitsu. They're all children. <laughs> okay. It's the only thing I really have yeah. influence over. But how many I got? I got my two daughters are there, and now I have my daughter's two best friends. 
Okay. So my eldest nice. are all there. Nice. And uh, Chad did a great thing for one of them. He's kind of pseudo sponsoring one of our one of them to nice. help her out. Just not as just not as fortunate as the rest right. of us. And right. Now she's in it. Loves it. All the kids. Oh, that's kind of yeah. It's a good outlet, man. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, isn't yeah. it? And they love it more than I do. It's gonna it's gonna transform that young lady to a, a better version of herself. Yeah, and it, yeah, it already you can already see her confidence. Yeah. To your point with your son, yeah. I mean, when you've seen him transform after oh, he started man. to get it, and he's like, yeah, I don't yeah. need to take shit from anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I can be who I want to be and feel comfortable right. in my own skin. Absolutely. And it's not Dude. it's not the ass whooping part of it. Like no. everyone's like, oh, you're just proud your kid can kick someone's. No, it has nothing to freaking do with that. Well, maybe a little. There, I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of cool. Because my, my you're son, kind of an ass, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> my son started when I th- like I said I think he started like when he was eight or nine, and um, a smaller kid was th- was ragdolling him. Yeah, kids a kid half his size, man. The kid had to be what six, seven, maybe. Nice. <laughs> and he was just ragdolling him, and my son was like, I I don't know, I I don't know what to do. This shouldn't be happening. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this going on? No. And then might makes right. What's going on? Yeah. And then next thing you know. You know, months of training. Next thing you know, he started going against kids uh, bigger than him. Yep. And he was holding his own and even uh, beating some of them. Yeah. So it, it was just a big transformation, man. It's one of those things where I always tell people, man, if if you can, get your kids in it. Like We tell everybody. Oh, yeah. it just it, it's, it's very hard to explain. It's extremely hard to explain. But once you see it, it's it's you'll see why it's so difficult to explain. Well, and you have to, because just going back to the example, Natalie is one of the Mm -hmm. first one we got in for my my daughter's best friend. And her mom did not get it. Okay. At all. She's like, I don't know why my daughter, just because Addie's doing this, my daughter. Right. Why is she doing it? That's why she's doing it. She came and watched finally. You can't just come to one class either. You got to come to a few to really see what your kid's blossoming into. Correct. After two classes, because she was going to pull her because they moved farther away. Oh, They're wow. pretty far away from the gym now. And she came to two classes. Natalie's she's still up. coming yeah. because she's like, wow, I yeah. can see how much she loves it for one. Yeah. And number two, I can see how productive and just how it's making her feel now. It's amazing. It, it is amazing. I love it. It's now, how cool is it when you see your son finally starting to do jujitsu? You know how it goes from oh, just oh, go, and, yeah. and now they're actually doing yeah. moves? Oh, man, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Him doing, I think the farthest he got to was uh, going into triangles and such. Because uh, him being smaller back then, they couldn't do too many things that was too many things that was uh, that could injure them if, if yeah. they went a little yeah, too yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. So, so it limits the submission. Correct. Game. <laughs> Correct. So rightfully yeah. so, people should. Oh, I mean, I'm teaching yeah. my kids wrist locks, and he looks at home. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> You're teaching wrist locks. That's still the best shit ever. What an asshole. Nice. It starts with a hypocrite. Oh wait, I said the whole word. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> So. Rick Selector Cheaters, also, they're pretty easy to do. They're kind <laughs> they're of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, still can't believe you tried that shit on me, you asshole. First fucking time, he's like, Nyeh. he couldn't get his um, patented ar- arm, lock, uh, uh, arm lock on me Okay, from Kimura. Okay. First time he couldn't get it, the motherfucker goes right to a wrist lock. Uh, <laughs> Before you leave today, yeah. you need to try to wrist lock him just because it's funny to okay. watch it try to happen. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's got, his wrist can like touch his... Yeah. You, you just, yeah. Just, oh, oh, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's bad. And uh, yeah, Croiler was uh, trying to show a move. He nearly broke my wrist because he's like, oh, it's not... Yeah, on purpose. It was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I, go, I was like, tap. He's like, I'm not done yet. Because he oh, knew I could go farther. He's man. like, I know it doesn't hurt you. I'm like, wow. yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I would have been tapping for you. Tap, tap. Little. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Everybody was. Everyone's had that face of like, oh, shit. Uh, you know, you get to the point where but like. Yeah, I'm, my wrist just keeps going. He's not tapping, but I don't feel comfortable going any farther. Yeah, and that's this. where, yeah. Correct. So, I don't want to doesn't have that problem. I don't want to be a witness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes a long way. It's also, camaraderie me is hard, dude. Yeah. I can almost touch the back of my head. Homeboy's Gumby. It's oh, gross. It's man. gross, dude. Goodness. I, if it wasn't for this, he'd be like a contortionist I could, yeah right. i'll just put myself in the backpack i was gonna say extortionist but that's <laughs> extortionist. Not the right thing is oh. my wife's worse my wife has those ar- elbows oh, that man. go past oh, 90 yeah. degrees you can, can arm bar her and her elbow goes like this. yes oh. yeah she's fucking worse than me oh yeah we got a couple of those in our gym and it's i don't it's like, weird it. isn't it's, it it's scary it's well, scary well i was uh with jamal uh he's a mma fighter that's in ours okay and he, 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 <laughs> we were doing uh on Plato's. okay and he, he was leaning he's like oh i let that go man i could feel it i'm like you know uh-huh. It wasn't. Oh. It wasn't there yet. Oh, that's <laughs> he's scary, like, man. He's like, "Oh no, I could feel it." It wasn't there yet. <laughs> he would have had it. You know, he was crazy. doing the technique right, but it just you can roll up on it. So, 
Yeah. So how are you on that? Are you like more Gumby side or are you more oh, Tin Man I'm, side? I'm more a little bit more Tin Man. Yeah. That's, well, that's my I shit. guess in the middle maybe. Yeah. Cause you, oh, you mean normal. Oh, yeah. yeah I guess normal. Yeah. Cause <laughs> normal. You average motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my my uh, my teammates keep giving me, they keep giving me crap because I, I invert a lot. Oh, so, I I oh he's Ben. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, every, every gym has that guy that I will invert, invert for no reason at all. Me. That's me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that's me. That's a, that's another reason why the whole because I was inverted shirt came up. <laughs> 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 that's why. So I love so much yeah. of your shirt. So many of your shirts. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I've wanted to ask for so many yeah. more, and I'm just like, fuck, I don't want to be that guy. No, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna be I'm that guy. Take I just like not gonna shit. do. Well, I like the shit. I'm not gonna ask for it's it. Ca- it's kind of hard to 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 know because like I'm not gonna send you an inverted shirt if you if you don't like. I'll tell you right you know now. I mean? right, right. I'll tell you right yeah. now. I've gone through the whole list of shirts yeah. and my wife and my kids, and they're like. I was like, I, I like them all. I'm like, yeah, I kind of do too. <laughs> uh, is there, uh, no, there's not. There's one I don't get. What's the meat one? No meat athlete? The, yeah, what the fuck does that Are mean? Are you a vegan? Are you? No, oh. I'm not. That's for my, uh, that's for the love that I have and respect for the for, for vegans. Oh, really? Yeah, for, um, I, I got. I figured my, that was it, but I thought we had talked about food or yeah. something during a conversation, and I was like, I don't think no, he's vegan. <laughs> no, I'm not vegan. Uh, that's. I have uh, our sponsored athlete Shane Carr. He is he's vegan. Like yeah, he's the one I saw there the shirt he's, on. He's straight okay. up. He's he's one of them hardcore vegans, man. I, oh, got, really? I got a lot of respect for him because well, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of strong values behind it. But it's just I don't know. Usually, I, it's about values more than yeah. it's about diet. Oh it's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, the the people yeah, that yeah. do it for more yeah. than a fucking I love me week. some tacos, man. I just I, <laughs> I love I love me some tacos, man. So him yeah. and one of the and uh, admins for Proud BJJ, uh, Eric, he's. You guys will meet him one one yeah, of these yeah, days. Yeah, for sure. He, he's vegan as well. So um, Shane himself, him, uh, he's he's a good friend of mine. We he told me one day he's like, man, dude, you got to make a vegan shirt. I'm like, I don't have any in- inspirations for. Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. would I do that? Yeah. I like who makes delicious. that request? So then he's like, I'll tell you what, man, like. Make a shirt that says "No Meat Athlete." I'm like, ooh, I love that. That actually doesn't sound I bad. Love, I love the way that sounds. I really want yeah. to be part of it, but I'm like, I eat, yeah. I eat a lot of meat. Yeah. <laughs> you should have made one that said that, but it had like a steak frying in the back. You're, you're, <laughs> you're like the fifth person who told me. That. You're, you're like, not original. That's what he just told yeah, you. Yeah. You're like, are you going to make an extra medium rare uh, <laughs> shirt, <laughs> athlete shirt? I'm like, I don't know. Athletes yeah, all, eat meat. You yeah. could say all meat athlete, but Something that might like have that. a different connotation. Yeah. I'm not sure. That's that going to sound. Might, that's going to sound weird. <laughs> come across the wrong way <laughs> yes yes so I, oh, I now like, i see why you roll around I like with meat athlete <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh. <laughs> i would wear that i'm just saying i wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> i'm good with the i'm good with the taco shirt man <laughs> oh, i am too yeah oh see, man yeah. dude you got good shit it's uh paulie fell in love paulie's favorite one i know which one is adidas shirt Yes. He fucking felt like as soon as he's like, what is this shit? What, yeah. Why are you talking about Top Mount? He yeah. goes on there. He's like, I really like that one. Like instantly. Yeah. That one's fucking hilarious. <laughs> now, did he fall in love with the shirt or did he fall in love with the model? Oh, okay. Dude, I make a way better model. You can read. I'm like the walking Dude, he one, but you got the dad amazing. bod, though, man. Huh? You got the dad bod, though. We're, oh, yeah. not, we're not looking for dad bods yet, How dare though, you? you know what How I mean? dare you? It's, Dude, I represent the dad yeah, bod. you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no. You, you forgot to tie the knot behind the shirt. <laughs> I fucking told him to, too. I was like, dude, that's got to happen. <laughs> you had the duck face or the duck lips going, man, I but did, you forgot the you forgot the knot. That shit was classic. It's funny because I'm taking pictures and like doing different like poses yeah. trying to get like just what kind of like what she did a little bit and my wife walks in on me doing it and oh she's, no and she's giving me this the fuck <laughs> are you i'm like it's for a instagram just oh god <laughs> just, please don't just leave look me. away <laughs> don't judge me yes. <laughs> please don't leave <laughs> don't leave me yeah. she knows better yeah, it's funny. we are not smart <laughs> we do stupid shit a lot you oh you, know, you would love to have us in class i think i would <laughs> we are complete morons we have to apologize a lot. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I talked a lot. <laughs> yeah, I ruined the entire kids' class on Wednesday. Chad sent me a message. She's like, "Hey, I hate to do this for you or to you last minute, but can you help cover the kids' class okay. because I got to leave and you know yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I just can't cover. It, so you need to help help Ben." Okay. So I'm like, "Yeah, you know, no worries, I can do that." So I get in there. My whole goal is just to make all the kids laugh. So they're trying to do their set ups and or push ups. I got my foot on their back, and okay. you know they're trying to balance. <laughs> and I'm kicking them over, and, and Ben's trying to show move on me, and I'm acting like it's killing me. Oh no! <laughs> and the kids are laughing. Ben's like. You're this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> Focus. You know Ben can kick your ass, right? Uh, well, I, who can't really? Yeah. Me. No, you're <laughs> the only issue. one. You weren't there at the time, so it's nice. cool. Perfect. Toughest man in the room when it's empty. There you go. Uh, that's me. 
It's a start, right? It's a start. That's <laughs> where I go. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, so what's your future goals for it, for a top mount? Um, well, continue to sponsor athletes, help them along, along the way. You know, like, uh, if you don't mind me giving a couple you of You can do it all you uh, want. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Professor Miguel Benitez, uh, Black Belt, he was one of our first sponsored athletes. He reached out to us, and we it was one of those, like, mutual respect yep, things yep, that yep. We, we wanted to help. He wanted to help. And then... Um, Anthony Anthony Farrell sickness that's another that's that guy's been awesome as a sponsored athlete awesome him and his crew and then we have uh Miranda Maverick she's an MMA fighter I don't know if you guys follow her or not but she's we will know we will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah sounds you easy tell us who to follow we're yeah. on it uh, her name is well huh? she's fear New words she's fear the she's fear the maverick I believe Mar- Miranda fear the fear the maverick on Instagram a uh, real awesome young lady she's um She's about. She's getting ready to do another fight, and she was one of the first MMA fighters that put our our brand. Put out. it out there. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That is what. Nice. Uh, that's real cool. Um, another guy, Steve Merrill, the surgeon Merrill. He was another guy who got us on. Uh, he used to fight. Uh, he's. Uh, I can't. He had a fight last month, but I, get, I guess it got called off, so he couldn't make it again because of his opponent. I guess couldn't make weight or something like that. Oh, but, bummer. Yeah, it's yeah. always a bummer. And then we have Shane Carr, um, and. But the future for Tama, man, is just, you know, helping. I would like to make it to where I can help more people. I mean, we help a lot behind the scenes, but we don't. We just don't advertise it. Cause, oh, you yeah. should. I it, love just putting big signs <laughs> up going, I'm helping. No, <laughs> that's not what we're about. Well, that's what? Not what we're about oh, so. you're not supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> shit. You I'm know, learning all kinds of cool shit today. Yeah, we just, I mean, if we can make it, if, make, if we can make it uh, worldwide uh, even bigger than we are now. Yeah. That would be awesome. Is it's it's all about the the pay it forward factor, you know. We have people who believe in our brand. We also want to pay it forward to athletes who want to continue their journey. And yes, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> on the path of jujitsu, like looks at me with a shit grin too. Like I'm gonna say journey. Watch this. <laughs> He's just been waiting all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> you gotta open this grenade. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you know, along the way, everybody when somebody has a goal like you guys you guys want to make sure that you have somebody who's who's behind you that says i got you yep. so along the way you want to be like okay am, are we doing this alone or do we have somebody with, on our back us from top mind we're like we got you yep you guys need gear we got you you know we got we can't wait till you get your blue belt so we can get you some more cool yep. stuff with you know blue belt ranking on it so it's like that it's when it comes to athletes, that's what we want to do. When it comes to organizations behind the scenes where we could help out, you know, whatever it is, then we want to do that as well. Nice. That's, really, that's awesome, you know, man. One thing I just kind of wanted to touch up on is that w- from the get-go, it's never been about money. You know, we don't. that's why we don't push our product to, on people. We don't force it on people. We don't see ourselves as selling products. We see ourselves as servicing somebody who wants to purchase something. And I, 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 I want to make sure that people understand the difference because there's a huge difference there's a between, big difference you know what i mean oh yeah so we're here to serve rather than sell it's a big difference know? huge and yeah it's a you're it's a, a customer difference. service business you're not yeah. a sales business correct. it's a big yeah. difference yeah correct i mean has our business from day one gone perfectly smooth absolutely not i mean there's there's been some mistakes done there's been some orders messed up i got one big mistake which was here <laughs> way you're here uh, they, see there you go <laughs> big mistake <laughs> We, we got to fine tune it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, people, people who have believed in our in our products, man, I've always said it, man. Like, people work very hard for their money. So, for me to for us to sell them a product and say, well, you bought it, it's yours now. It's yeah. it's it's, it's it, that's not what it's about, man. The way that I see it, it's it's a is a transaction. You trust me with your money now. I now you have to trust me with my product. And if I can't deliver a decent product, then what am I doing exactly? So it's very, if, if we can't do that, then we're failing. There, We shouldn't be in business. Yeah. We, sh- we shouldn't be sponsoring athletes with a brand that, ha- that, has not, that has no values. So that's where we stand on. We stand on our values because that's what we, that's what we preach and that's what we give with our service. Yeah, that's badass. You know that's I mean? fucking badass. I like it a lot. You're like so. the Zappos of jiu-jitsu gear. I, I, yeah, I guess. Is it? Is, I have no fucking clue what he's talking about. You don't know what Zappos is? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're All fucking right. saying Mo- a word. Mo- moving on. <laughs> it was a compliment, but go on. You know what? Yes, I know now. I'm sorry. Ah, yes, bam. Yes. Bam, It winning. took me a second. I'm, I'm yeah. still in left field. Yeah. Fuck you. 
<laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> was. Know exactly what you're talking about, the shoe company and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 It's, it, there, it's, it's not a shoe company. It's a customer service it's, company yes. that sells shoes. Correct. It's like they okay. are 100% all about the customer. Absolutely. They will back up their product to the nth degree. They are Absolutely. a badass company yes. for sure. So that's what he is. It took so me a second. Like, yeah. Badass. Yes, good word. <laughs> 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 we're, not, we're not that big, but we will one day be. But you're that badass. We, you, well, dude, we, for your growth, though, yeah. just going on. Your growth's been pretty dang impressive for it's just going, good. hey, yeah. I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I think that's what a lot of people do. And it, I, like I said, it, it, it translates from jiu-jitsu to your personal life. A lot of people are just too scared to give it a shot, you know? Oh, yeah. Like when people learn something new, a new, a new technique, they don't want to get choked out or armbarred or whatnot mm-hmm. because it's out of their comfort zone. So they don't want to try a new sweep and then get armbarred or choked. Yeah. So, so yeah. they'll just stay in their comfort zone. And it was the same thing with me. It was like, I really don't know if I should do this. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah. And this is where we are. So it takes a lot of balls to do that. It, it's for it sure. really, really does. And, it, and to stick with it because oh, we were man. just <laughs> talking about this shit. Same thing with jujitsu, though. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Yeah. Starting a podcast, yeah. what's the failure rate there, Paulie? Do <laughs> Almost After, 100%. Damn, yeah. there's not many. Literally. And you guys just cracked that 25, uh, top 25, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it just goes to show you that's another another little uh, behind the scenes thing. Uh, that's where Keep Showing Up came from, the shirt. Yeah. Dude. Keep Showing Up. And that doesn't necessarily have to be just in jujitsu. No, man. It's, it's it's life, man. It's life, yeah. man. Like, yeah, the average podcast fails after seven episodes. There you go. Like, yeah, if you make so you it get to 12, to si- you're doing good. So. Yeah. And that's, and like we just talked about this guy that had everything going for him. Yeah, uh, he, had, he had uh, a famous podcast friend <coughs> to help him out, okay. and he made it to episode 12 and quit. I'm like, dude, oh, you're, wow. you're still uh, learning about it. We did, yeah, we're wow. just talking about this before you came. And we're but, having, like, our, our numbers started spiking at, at a certain number, okay. and, like, bad, like, to the point where people are like, Ugh. no, they found us. Oh, like, they, people oh, okay, found I us. See, like, see, we've, we've okay. never, ever had a plateau. We've never not been increasing week over week. Awesome. Not once. And then, but then we hit a spike. It was like, holy shit. But it took a long time to get to that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now we're getting shit. We get shit from all over the world now. Nice. Like saying, hey, love what you guys are doing. Awesome. Never going to buy your shirt. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> well, that, but, that's, uh, that's how uh, Proud BJJ started, man. I mean, our first our first post has like eight or 12 likes that's yeah it. That's it's it. insulting isn't it, it was <laughs> no i love going back to it man i kid you not i love going back to it. it's like man this is where we started and now look at this just because it was consistency it was because we believed in what we were doing we didn't we didn't have we didn't have a fake agenda if you will yeah yeah we didn't say oh yeah we want a motor you were people. genuine from the get-go correct if you if you have a fake agenda with whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to disappoint yourself and then you're going to quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that happens a fucking a lot. lot. That was really well put because I think that shit happens lot. a lot. Because I mean, in in with Top Mount, it was the same thing. Like people were like, "Man, you can make all kinds of money," and I was like, "No, I'm not. I'm not looking for that right now. That's yeah. not what it's. This is about. If this was if if money was the situation, there's no way I'd be giving it up to try to tr- to try to make more money." Because I wouldn't know what it would it held. I would just save it. And that's yeah. it. If I wanted yeah, why more not? money, yeah, just why, save it. why would you put the money into you know that? I mean, so a lot less, a lot more, a lot safer. Because <laughs> when we first started, you know, I I, I have mentors and you know uh, people who give me financial advice and so on and so forth. And some of them were like, "Yeah, man, you could charge for this. You could charge for this." And it's like, "No, we're not. Yeah. We're not going to do that with with probably JJ or Tom Mount or nothing like that, man. That's not what it's all about, and it's not going to be that way." And we've had co- uh, companies contact us like, hey, if you push our product, we're going to give you, I think one one company said 30% of, of the sales that yeah. we that, that go down with, yep. uh, you know, and I was like, thank you, but we already have a sponsor with that. And they're like, yeah, but we're giving you this. We'll give I'm you like, more. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm like, our sponsor doesn't give us a cent and we're going to stick with them because they were there from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, people will figure things out eventually. Yeah, people are not dumb. No, so if if we did anything that was out of 
the norm out of the whack there people are gonna yeah all of a sudden you see a product on and you know you're I mean? posting you know about I mean? a product like, and like, oh go buy this fuck? go buy this go buy yeah. this they're gonna be like wait a minute right where did where's the post yeah. of the like yeah. why did this you know? post of this guy getting his first strike go to and go buy this yes. like what the <laughs> they're gonna be like what yeah. have you yeah. even tried that so. no but it's gonna make me money <laughs> so yeah, yeah so fuck you, it. Right? yeah <laughs> but i mean that's 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 one thing that i always try to tell people if if you have a false agenda it, it will get exposed. Yeah. So that's what we try to, I mean, our values stand strong and I wouldn't bring anybody as an admin to the proud BJJ white belt page or the top mount, uh, uh, business side of things. If I didn't trust them to have the same values that we have to continue to run the business. Cause it's just, yeah, I, it's just not worth it. That's awesome. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not so. many people have the fortitude to actually, you know, live to the, the, goals that they've set yeah, yeah most you set see. yourself some go- lofty yeah. goals to you could take the easy route and you've literally chose not to yeah pretty much. you really have you're like oh there's that easy road yeah yeah i'm gonna give that the middle finger yeah. i'm gonna go over here <laughs> <laughs> that's a two track right <laughs> i'm gonna do that one pretty much so yeah. and that's no that's commendable because the end of that road is going to be that much better for you so I sure hope so, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see a problem with it. The way that the <laughs> way that the way that I see it, the more we expand, the 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 bigger we get, the more people I get to help. Yeah, that's it, awesome. It's it's weird that I see it that way, but it, it it makes sense for some reason. Like people would probably look at what we're doing, and if they were in my shoes, they'd probably be like, "Man, the bigger we get, the you know, the more distribution and all that stuff." Is like, no, but we get to help more people though. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Like I could when we when I started Tama, I couldn't wait to sponsor somebody because yeah. that, that meant I can help people, and people were like, "No, man, you got to make money first. It's like, "Yeah, I can, but I still want to help." Right? They're like, "Well, that's going to cost you money." It's like, "Yeah, but I still want to help." Yeah, you if know? you have the means to, you yeah, want to do yeah. that. I mean, I'm already investing money in the company. Why not invest in somebody that actually has goals set and they have a good working ethic, and they're actually pursuing their their goals, you know, 100% every day, Yeah, you know? Yeah, I totally agree with that. That's awesome. I guarantee this is the most times help has ever been said on our, our fucking show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, because uh, Paul and I act like we want to help people, <laughs> but we seem to not. Let's drag them down to our <laughs> level and beat them with really? experience is what we do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> With our bitter life experiences. There you it's go. fine. Right. It's great. But I want to thank you for coming on, man. I it's, appreciate it you It was guys a lot of fun coming out. Yeah, yeah, this has been great. It's been, it's been a totally lot of great. fun. And to sit in two creepy guys' hotel room with us. Yeah. yeah this, um, this is legit as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just look around. Hey, it's a yeah. nice hotel room. Yeah. Ish. I mean, <laughs> we could have to for the five star hotel, but no. Oh, and we, we wanted to save like three hundred dollars a night. Whatever, it's cool. Your sponsors could have chosen a better hotel, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we had a good one. I mean, really. That's a knock on myself, by the way. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. That's why I ran with it. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. All right. Well, um, you got anything you want to close on? Mm, nope. I pretty much covered everything that, that I was. You sure? You about. sure? Because you can keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Spotlight's in that on case, you, baby. Just, <laughs> in that case, <laughs> in that case, no. I just, I just wanted. I always make it a point to say thank you to everybody who supported our brand and believes in our brand, whether they buy something or not. Even the the people who appreciate what we're doing, I sincerely thank you for that. I, I mean, I can't say it any more clear, with more sincerity. I, I, I absolutely thank you for that. You know what I mean? Thank you, thank you for everything. That's awesome. Yeah. And awesome. Uh, thanks for dealing with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everyone. Um, we appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. All you listeners, thanks for coming back week after week, yeah. telling your friends, grabbing your grandma's phone, and just like hitting that subscribe button and that. You've tried it so many really times to get helps. that to people. <laughs> just because you Somebody's did it to your grandma. <laughs> uh, but thanks, for everybody, for listening. Thanks again, Al, for, thanks, Tom, Al, for Thank coming on. Uh, can't wait to have proud, you know, uh, proud white belt BJJ. <laughs> proud uh, can't BJJ wait to have that belt. Yeah, and, uh, in our journey. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to actually say it wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to focus really hard to say it wrong. It's a, cho- it's a tough journey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you take that path to hell? That's fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, everybody. Check us out on Instagram. Check out topmountapparel.com. Uh, check them out on Instagram. Check out uh, Croiler Gracie. I think he's important. I don't know. I'll call him and I'll check. Yeah, we'll find out. He's, it's his birthday. He, oh, my Happy God. Happy birthday, oh, buddy. Nice. You old fuck. 
I, I went with uh, happy birthday, you young asshole, or yeah. young fuck. Young fuck yeah, is what yeah. I went with. He came back with thanks, asshole. Yes. yes. Nice. So there's nothing but love. Nothing but love, um, man. And uh, we're going to go see Chad. Chad's in town here with us with Morgan, uh, Black Line BJJ. Check us out in Grand Rapids. Come visit. Beat me and Paul up. It's super fun. And easy. It is. And our guy at Tap Tape. Can't Dude, he tape, he is not important. Nah, he's out. That, that, that dude cool is cat. super <laughs> annoying. He's a cool cat. Man. He thinks he's all <laughs> cool, selling really good tape. Um, oh man, that that tape is is for real, man. Fucking oh, yeah. legit. Yeah. I love yeah, that tape, yes. dude. I I wear it every day. Do you do the uh, yeah, death grip or do you do the dude? You know what, man? I used to. I fell in love with the death grip, yeah. and then I tried the other one. I the fission. The fission. Yep, the fission tape. And now I think I love the fission. Are you one, serious? Man. The fission tape. Pretty, pretty legit. Not, man. It's pretty legit. I told you. Like I keep good. going back and forth, I, and I'm not saying that because of the pockets or whatnot. But if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. No, no. Like we've told people, it's. This is from a third party, people. I I have I have no stock. Yeah, no I, have no, <laughs> I have no stock in tap tape or anything. Like I just use it, man. It's you will not be disappointed in either no. one, whether it's a death no. grip or the, or the fusion. I mean, it's it's awesome. Man. Yeah, if it's, you like white tape, which a lot of people do, yes. feel free, dude. That freaking yeah. fusion is legit. He yes. never sent it to us. Was our problem. He's like, here's more death grip. Here's death nice, grip. Nice. You said you like death grip. Here's more <laughs> death grip. We're like, uh, why don't you send me the other shit? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> for a smart person. That was pretty slow. Yeah, well, but his product, his product's yeah. fucking awesome. Love that guy. He supports every Dude, everything it, that's it, great it, in jiu-jitsu. He, he's like, yeah, he's good people supporting good people. Awesome. And he does it because yeah. he loves it, and it's a community, and it's you know, it's uh, it's not about money. It's Correct. about the love for the sport. Correct. Yep, and, and that's what yeah. we're all here for. Exactly. So. Absolutely. Um, some better than others. And you know uh, that's true, <laughs> because we all still have jobs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all still have jobs. Yeah. So, But, hey, everybody, check us out. I'm done. All right. All Thanks right. again. Thank you, guys. Peace. All right. Bye. Bye.